was Jonathan Bowyer, and I think Sean Kelly was third with a bronze medal. Coming round this corner now, the figure of Jonathan Bowyer, who so nearly took this world title, he led out, and he goes on now, thinking that just a matter of 150 yards separates him from a gold medal. And then on his shoulder went Giuseppe Cerrone, and just behind him there was Greg Lamont, the junior world champion, just a couple of years ago. Cerrone tried hard to win this title last year. In fact, he took the silver medal behind Freddy Mertens of Belgium. Cerrone wasn't going to make a mistake this time. He swung over to the right of the road. He glanced over his shoulder. He was riding now like a man possessed. Italy have waited long enough for this world title, and they will be absolutely delighted. But what a finish this has been for the English-speaking nations, because just like in the Tour de France, where Phil Anderson and Sean Kelly were among the prize and leaders all the time, Cerrone comes over the line and kisses the crowd. Giuseppe Cerrone after three second places in the last four years for Italy. This time he's landed for his country, the world professional crown. He shakes hands there with Greg Lamond in second place. And there he is, Giuseppe Cerrone. He's a pinup boy in Italy. They call him Beppe. And he's finally come home with the goods. He was second last year in the world championships in Prague. And now the jersey of a world champion. For one year hence, he can ride everywhere in the rainbow colors of the jersey of the 1982 champion of the world. Ronnie è solo. Aumenta il vantaggio, sentiamo il grido di Cimondi. Io penso lo meriti e quindi è un onore per tutti noi italiani. Ronnie campione del mondo. Taranni campione del mondo, Taranni campione del mondo, il gesto di Sizza di Greg Lemond, Sean Kelly è terzo, quarto è Sosnel, poi Marino Le Carreta, poi Polen...